All right, as you see, I have lots of messages. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but we're gonna we're gonna go do, give it a go. Tons of messages, amazing. I used my Buddha deck. Oh my goodness, so I, I had this idea of doing um, just like a whole spread of a lot of like my my cards that have like angels, ancestors, spirit team, that kind of thing, and I was gonna layer it and. But I might have to do a part two because this is already like a lot of cards. And holy moly. Oh, and we have tarot cards underneath. Okay, so. All right. So let's just get started. Overall energy we have here is Pada. The ancient tantric mother goddess. Origin of all goddesses. Mother energy pours forth life beautiful right oh my gosh and then we also have we have a lot of amazing things we've got green tara as well the let's see bodhisattva it's compassion in action green tara compassion with action yields great results okay we've got shield maidens make plans and focus All right, so I'm gonna have to uncover it as I go. All right, so make plans and focus with Akshoba, Akshoba in the realm of the Eastern Pure Lands. Observed focus observation illuminates the truth. A thousand armed, I can't say that, but he who looks compassionately upon the earth, quiet compassion is sometimes the best course. So I'm going to have to set that up here so I can get underneath. All right. So the message was seeking. We have it in reverse and complexity. So the message was like, do not seek the complexity of this. Now there's the messages here of union. Okay. Definitely coming together, the sacred partner. And this, it's, it's saying like, it's so complex, right? And we had let go of, we have this one, the crazy wisdom, wrathful Buddha, Dorje Drolo. Let go of being logical, a higher wisdom will guide you. It's just so cool. So it totally goes with it. So it's saying, don't even try to seek the complexity of this connection. Observed, right? It was saying, observed, focused observation illuminates the truth. Quiet compassion is sometimes the best course. And as well as the green Tara, compassion. Let go of being logical. All right? And trust and thrive is another message I feel like that go, goes with it. Trust and thrive, the stag. I believe stag is also represents union as well. Okay. And let's come over here. We've got two cards of Mother Earth. Earth connection, be mindful of the planet, come back to Earth, stay grounded, feel loved and comforted. So I've got two Mother Earth cards. All right, and we've got patron of the arts, creator of abundance, be a creator of abundance. Kubera. And then Chakra Samvara, union of wisdom and compassion. Look at that. Love making can bring wisdom and compassion or more, or mire us in lust. Okay, so what I was clear, I just put, put those over there, kind of clarifying it, and it goes with it. So we've got outlook and relating. I love this ascendant and relating. So I feel like it goes perfect with these cards. Be a creator, creator of abundance. Oh yeah, that goes with the Jupiter. Let me show you the, okay. So starting off, we started off with these two cards. So I think the first two that came out. So we've got 10th house reputation with Jupiter expansion. This is like, see the, the, the throne there, the king and the queen, the emperor and the empress, career responsibilities, achievement, empire, optimism, exploration, potential expansion. Um, so yeah, it's saying like being a creator of abundance. 
outlook and relating. This is the mission. This is the this is partners, companionship. And okay, so uh, so this is the union of the two. You know, this is the union of wisdom and compassion. There's a lot about compassion. And then what is this one? Buddha, guardian of the north, cultivating a well-rounded personality brings fearlessness. So this is like integrating all the aspects of yourself. So we're expand. It's just it's a beautiful message. It's like expanding and reputation. This is good luck. And in Jupiter, I think, is going direct in, in the month of October. So this is powerful. See your seeds grow with this union energy, the lover. Oh, okay. Here's the message I was like. Yeah, right? Okay, so Leo the lover. Expressive, creative, glowing, playful. That's what they're, they're trying to say, the message. It's like, don't seek the complexity of love, right? Like, why, how, da, da, quite, like, that's all the mind. So that was the message of let go of being logical, right? Higher wisdom will guide you. And we've got lots of higher wisdom here. I mean, it's incredible. So, and then we have see your seeds grow, which is the two of cups, seven of swords, and nine of cups. So this is... You know, this union of divine souls, the masculine and the feminine coming together. And this is some strategy. I feel like this is the masculine strategizing how to get to his wish fulfillment, his nine of cups. You know, and then they, oh, I didn't, I didn't notice the treasure chest right here. So, and then Archangel Michael came up. So protecting this treasure, surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. You're safe. Angels stand close. And not only do you have that, the miracles occur, we have, this is so great, um, Mercury, okay, open communication with Mother Mary and the Holy Spirit, expect miracles. Remember that only love is real, miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back, let go of the need to be right. Choose peace, mother healing is possible at this time, we had a lot of, we have a lot of divine mother energies. And also, I'm going to go ahead and say this, because it does say, let go of the need to be right. We also have the peacekeeper coming up here. Let go of the need to be right. I'm going to place that over there. So, um, get a weight, a weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. So, Archangel Michael is assisting with this, coming to this Nine of Cups. And look what's next to it, to Ten of Cups. All right, so we also have... This is the feminine, all right? So the masculine's over here. And this is the empress with the page of cups. So it's an offer, a gentle, loving, you know, just the page of cups is like an apology, a, a, a gesture of love. Give you a small gesture of love, starting it off with, with that. And we've got lots of feminine energy with, with uh, the high priestess, Isis magic manifesting, the wisdom goddess of the three times the writings of great beings have the voice of god within and they i feel like the masculine is like really seen as feminine as being able to um just a great um inspiration like a muse like he gets very inspired by the feminine and then the red dakini who dances in white mahakala's heart love is the most powerful force of all your dreams visions and goals are becoming reality focused stay focused magic manifesting Harness that mystic power, High Priestess. The eight-armed Kuan Yin, Bodhisattva of Compassion. When stuck in anger, cultivate compassion. And then we also have, sometimes love changes the course of a life. And there's the Emperor. You see him? There's the Emperor. Okay. So. Messages. See from a higher perspective, the eagle with hold of space, Druid. All right, in this energy. So, the masculine is also seen from a higher perspective. Hold the space. We hold the space for our counterpart as they go through their journey. So we've got Quan Yin. All right, we've got Green Tara. We've got the, you know, the Universal Mother. Let's jump over here. We've got the Strength card, the Wheel of Fortune, with. The 8th century Mahasita wild men. Intense practice yields great results. Yeah. So I feel like this is a feminine energy. 
really having the courage and strength to do that intense practice and it has helped to like bring in this good expansion this jupiter energy of luck destiny turning the wheel here and so let's uncover let's see what we got here right okay so we've got the moon card so this is this came out right recently so i found it in a mixture of cards so we kept it so we've got the emperor with the tower with the moon it's like this grand this huge awakening of awakening and epiphany and love changes the course of a life so you may not know this yet or you may know it now but love first wife to padma sambhava princess mandava darava sometimes love changes the course of a life so love literally changes the love of his feminine this love this connection five of cups hanged man having that epiphany having to kind of be in this energy of stuckness like pause having to really go within with the hermit is right here five of cups really longing and missing and wanting to offer something to his feminine the feminine knows though with these cards I'm going to show these, that there has to be an uh, ending of a past cycle so she knows all right they both know that five of swords is ten of cup there has to be like fighting for this connection um wanting this connection sticking up for so i feel like in the past there wasn't that sticking up for this connection so ten of swords three this also like interference okay in this connection ten of swords ending the interference and holding on to this past there are three of cups could also be like i said a third energy trying to interfere so he's seeing that he's gonna have to let that go that love changes the course of your life and this is just amazing okay so we also have sometimes it is good to seek help from others so he's had to maybe ask for help and ask the divine for help to get through this you know and he's also holding on to celebrating like once finally coming into a reconciliation a union like he's holding on to that and it's also like seeing how he's held on to 3d life and having to really like let that go the Sri Yantra, the cosmic map to your true, playful, laughing self. When feeling disheartened, stop and watch a child that play. So it's like connecting to that inner, that page of cups energy, you know, that youthful, young energy of just playfulness. And then we have old age brings wisdom and fierce certainty. Lion headed Simha Mukha, the ecstatic Dakini. So old age, the hermit is over here. So it's like, gaining this knowledge and this wisdom and fear certainty certainty there isn't like oh i'm kind of certain no this fierce certainty the tower it's shocking it's abrupt it's quick the quickening the awakening and karma dakini yeah karma helping to balance out karma replace envy by focusing on your accomplishments the green buddha family of the north so i found that's interesting all right also, we've got Ace of Swords, Four of Cups in reverse with the Hermit. It's seeing the truth. It's, it's accepting the offer. What's really interesting is that the Four of Cups came in reverse in a whole nother deck. <laughs> okay, that blew me away. I was like, okay, Four of Cups in reverse, Four of Cups in reverse. So the Four of Cups is like, you know, not, it's like rejecting the offer, not taking, like God's trying to off, give this offer of love, like this connection to the masculine let's say okay this is taking it with the justice card that's wow so this is being balanced this is this is seeing the truth ace of swords having clarity after having been in the hermit mode having to like yeah like slow really deeply look within and no longer ignoring this divine blessing and seeing it tr truthfully in one space like yeah, and this is use your strength to help someone who is struggling. Okay, so that's helping each other, you know. The divine counterparts helping each other as they go through this Five of Cups energy or struggling through their path. Now, 
We also have Ganesh came out, the infant Ganesh, remover of obstacles. Call on Ganesh to remove obstacles in your life. And then look at this. Removing obstacles, fearlessness, earth magic. I mean, isn't this amazing how the messages come out? Wow. So we've got removing obstacles. We've got justice here. Like I said, um, no longer ignoring this cup. All right, it's in his face. He's accepted it. All right, now this is pretty cool because this is a lot of wands. Um, offering his gift of song. Your skills are the gifts you can share with others. A devotee. All right, so I feel like this is representing the masculine. You're like in his path, you know. See, it's like sitting by oneself, realizing your worth, the love for yourself. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at this. This is a lot of wands. Look at this. You guys like nine of wands, seven of wands, six of wands and ace of wands with the knight of swords. Like, and then the judgment is rain is like, bah, 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 like judgment call here. Ace of wands, new beginning. Seven of Wands, persevering, standing up for, that's the energy of standing up for this connection, which was, felt like was missing in the past. And triumphant after having like such a hard, you know, this is a wounded warrior card, like perseverance. This masculine, a group of masculines has persevered and they're just like, they're ready for, this is judgment call. This is reconciliation. This is, this is it. Like, let's go. And then knight of swords quickly communicate coming to communicate because look at this wow star in reverse yeah like tired of you know missing don't doesn't want to miss out on their wish fulfillment yeah look at two of cups bam like doesn't want to miss out on their star which is divine feminine so is this it so i was gonna do might do a part two to this reading um, the warrior card came out as well. That's at the top of the deck. Um, what else? But that's a lot of wands. One, two, three, four. Yeah, the four wands card, which is all about action, taking action. So this is in the works. This could be future energy. Take it out. Resonates. This is amazing. So I might do part two to this. Um, we'll just see. Yeah, what else do I have to say about this? Um, the Shekinah, the sacred self, like I said, this, oh, Kuan Yin came out again. There's a lot about compassion, having compassion for each other. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life, sacred self. There's that energy again of unleashing, like unleashing, um, standing up, sacred rising of these divine couples, like powerful couples right now. Wasn't there the medicine Buddha? Did I read that one? I swear the Medicine Buddha came out. Oh. Yeah. Medicine Buddha. The Lapis Lazuli Healer King. The Seeking Help. Getting help. So. Yeah. I feel like this masculine has prayed or asked for help. From his team. His guides. God source. This is amazing. Like. That's a lot of wands. Okay. So. Let me upload this. And. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.